Hello everyone, welcome to the Penguin Coders. In this video, we will be learning about how to implement press back again to exit application functionality. This feature is used in major applications to prevent unintentional exit of the user from the main activity. So, I will be explaining you from a sample project which I am going to make. So, start a new Android project, choose empty activity, next. And then leave everything to the default, click on finish, let the application open. So now the application has loaded and we can hide the project view. So in the main activity, overriding the on back pressed feature which allows us to actually change the back pressed functionality. So for that I will define some variables here. So the first variable is private static final int time interval. So this is the time interval which you want between two back presses. So I will keep it as two seconds which is going to be 2000 milliseconds and then one variable to actually record the time whenever last the back button was pressed so private long back pressed now for the back button functionality we will override the on back breast feature and we need to write this function in our main activity which is the exit point of our application so i'll override that so at the rate override and public void on back pressed. Now I will check the time interval between the consecutive back presses. So if back pressed plus time interval, if the back press plus time interval is greater than our current system time, that is system dot current time millis, that means the back button was pressed within the time interval of 2 seconds and then I will choose the super dot on back pressed so that it, it resumes to the default back press functionality which is to exit the application and I will return this function. Otherwise I will pop up a message stating that you need to press the back button once more. So here I will pop up a toast so toast dot make text and I'll write the context which is get base context and then press the message which is press back again to exit app. And now the duration of the toast which is toast dot length short and we will show this toast so dot show. Now we need to also record the time whenever we make a we press the back button so that it can be used in the if a statement to actually work. So back pressed equals system dot current time millis. So this will store the current time in milliseconds every time to our back pressed variable and it will check it. So this is all and you can use in your application and we will see and you can also change the time interval to whatever you want but I recommend keeping it under 2 seconds or so to have a smooth functionality. Now I will show you this on my device. So here as you can see on the device if I try to press the back button once it will ask me to press back again to exit application and if I press it repeatedly it will exit the application. Now if I go again and if I press the back button once and after 2 seconds if I again press the back button it will again pop up. So the only way to exit is pressing it twice. So this completes our Android tutorial and if you want to see more tutorials like this you can always subscribe to my channel where I will be also giving you some Android projects and other, other tutorials pertaining to Python, Flask and Node and React also. Thank you.